As darkness falls, some creatures, such as rats, come out of hiding. They will leave behind rat poop. Slugs and snails come out at night, too, and they like to eat rat poop. And rats will eat slugs and snails. But there may be another creature here that we cannot see, and that is the rat lungworm. Just what is this rat lungworm? Well, it's a lungworm of rats. But its life cycle involves slugs and snails, too. Let's take a closer look at the growth stages. Adult worms lay their eggs in the lungs of the rat. Eggs hatch into first stage larvae, or L1s, which wiggle up the trachea, or windpipe, of the rat. The rat swallows them, they go through the digestive tract, and the larvae, so tiny they are microscopic, are pooped out. Slugs or snails, the intermediate host, eat the poop containing the L1 larvae. In this host, the worms will grow into second stage, or L2 larvae, and then into third stage, L3 larvae, and these are infectious. When a rat eats an infected slug or snail, this time, instead of getting pooped out, the L3 larvae move into the rat's bloodstream, make their way to the brain, and grow into L4s and then L5s. These young adult worms move from the brain and into the lungs. In the lungs, adult male and female worms will mate. The females lay eggs, and the cycle starts again. Let's watch again. Rats marauding and pooping, slugs and snails eating the poop, and rats finding and eating the slugs and snails. It's important to know that slugs and snails with infectious L3 larvae can infect other hosts called accidental hosts, which can be people, including children, dogs, including puppies, apes, monkeys, parrots, horses, and a range of other animals. In these hosts, the rat lungworm can cause serious illness, even invade the brain, causing meningitis. It's important to be informed if living in or visiting an area where the rat lungworm is found, such as Hawaii. You can visit this website for more information.